This is Linus Wilson, and this is me and Avery, and we're going to talk about uh, The Witcher Netflix Season 1, Episode 7, Before a Fall. So this was the shortest episode of the season, and there will be spoilers, so if you have not watched the episode, come back when you have. All right, so <laughs> in Episode 7, uh, the Before a Fall, uh, Geralt sees the Nilfgaardian army heading towards Sintra, and uh, he decides to uh, pick up his child surprise, who they say is 12 years old, Siri. Uh, but Calanthe has other ideas. Uh, and so I, I think this is, you know, given their, their altered timeline and the altered way that, that uh, Geralt meets him, uh, most of these events would have happened in the sort of destiny uh, short story, like when Siri was six. Uh, but instead she's 12, uh, but you still have uh, them trying to trick Geralt and into taking the wrong Siri. Uh, and then uh, something new is that they actually have uh, Geralt uh, imprisoned. Uh, and so uh, he's, he's eventually imprisoned uh, after he persists and offers to take her away before the Nilfgaardians attack. So, the you know on the the storyline, uh, f for Yennefer, uh, she tries to rekindle her relationship with Istred, but Istred was is really having none of it, and she's approached by Vilgefort, a sorcerer, a sorcerer, a mage we've not seen up until this point, uh, but Vilgefort uh, says that uh, Tessia de Vries would like her to join in the uh, the war f to defend the north from the Nilf guardians and uh, they she finds Vilgefort's kind of let her on but there is a summit of mages where they're talking about uh, defending Sintra and the Sintra uh, they they end up voting against uh, defending Sintra but you know this is a it's kind of a uh the first episode where all the timelines have converged that uh everybody siri yennefer and Geralt, are in the same timeline and uh you know i th i th thought the 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 fight sequences with Geralt once again were all very cool um and uh you know, Yennefer's storyline when she kind of goes to Eratusa, um, you know, it just displays that she's kind of lost. She feels like she's failed in in, in uh, trying to have a, a child, uh, and she's failed, and uh, she doesn't want to she doesn't want to be an advisor uh, to a king anymore, and she just really doesn't know what to do. And her relationship with Geralt is kind of hit a wall uh and her old flame doesn't want to have anything to do with her so it's just uh, she's she's really disillusioned at this point uh and looking for something uh which tasaya is going to take advantage of um so uh you, you know i just kind of was like how could she not tell the the students that a good chunk of them are going to be turned into slugs. I just couldn't understand that. Um, and I also couldn't understand uh, that... Uh, uh, I, I mean, I thought it was interesting that they were talking about how they needed to have um, non-magically talented people at Eratusa, evidently, who would not be turned into slugs uh, <laughs> if they were not successful at being promoted to... a. a an enchantress uh and then and then siri is kind of backed into a corner um she she meets uh, i think her name is zola in the the show and as the the name in the books is much bigger and she encourages her to come live with her but instead she steals a horse and gets uh she gets uh cornered by these dudes and 
she looks like she's about to go ballistic by the end of the episode. Uh, and we'll see in episode eight what happens there. This is the shortest episode. Um, I have no complaints about it. I, you know, I thought the, the adaptations for the Sintra side of the story were fine, given their their need to have series story told throughout the entire episode. Um, uh, and uh, you know, I, I guess maybe at this point in the season, I'm just a little bit disappointed at how black of characters, how not gray, but black are the Nilf Guardians and Kahir, and it also and uh, Fringilla Vigo seem to be. Uh, but maybe that'll change next uh, next season when we get to season two. Uh, but for now, it it seems like they're they're the the big evils right now. All right, my name is Linus Wilson. We're gonna do uh, the final. This is the penultimate episode. We're gonna do a, a reaction to the the final episode. We do uh, Witcher, uh, Netflix, and and Witcher Three news, and there's some some news that I'd like to get out, and I'd also like to do a spoiler free review of the whole season. So we're gonna even after we finish the these episode reactions we're going to do um, a lot more about the witcher so subscribe and hit the bell notification icon so you don't miss an, uh, another video